everybody. Today we discuss vitamin B4 that is called as niacin. Vitamin B4 niacin, the chemically, we can say that it is nicotinic acid. Nicotinic acid and nicotinamide. This nicotinic acid is a pyridin 3 carboxylic acid. So, the most important function is synthesis of nicotine at NAD and NADP because they are mostly used in many metabolic reactions. The source is meat, liver, legumes, whole cereals, and the deficiency of niacin is called as pellagra, which leads to four Ds that is dermatitis. in the form of Kesselman's necklace Kesselman's necklace the second D is diarrhea the third D is dementia and finally it may lead to death so vitamin B4 is the niacin chemically it is nicotinic acid or nicotinamide it has Pyridin 3 carboxylic acid and nicotinic acid. The most important function is synthesis of NAD plus NADP plus. The most important function. The source is meat, liver, and legumes. And whole cereals in the deficiency causes pellagra. This is the most important part of vitamin B4 that is niacin. Now, seeing the functional biochemical functions when NAD, NADP plus is used. There are some important sets of reaction where only NAD plus is used. There are some important sets of reaction where NAD plus can be used, NADP can be used and there are reactions where only NADP are used, NADP is used. So NAD, if we can remember it is mostly used in carbohydrate metabolism, in lactate dehydrogenase, pyruvate dehydrogenase, glycerol dehydrogenase, 3-phosphate dehydrogenase and alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase. NAD and NADP plus can be used only by two that is GDH glutamate dehydrogenase or isocitrate dehydrogenase. So it is good to remember these two enzymes glutamate dehydrogenase and isocitrate dehydrogenase. NADP plus is used by NADP plus is used in reactions where exosmono phosphate shunt, that is glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase. Second is 6 phosphogluconolactone dehydrogenase. Conolactone dehydrogenase. These both are in exos monophosphate shunt. Because exos monophosphate shunt only provides us with NADPH. The NADPH dependent reactions. Now the cycles which use NADPH. NADPH dependent reactions are more the cholesterol synthesis and the steroid synthesis. So it is HMG, CoA reductase. Second is the squalene epoxidase. Third is the cholesterol 7 alpha hydroxylase. Fourth is a phenylalanine hydroxylase. Again, dihydrofolate reductase can also use NADPH. To make 
make it simple, we can say that NADP, NAD plus dependent are mostly in the carbohydrate metabolism, lactate dehydrogenase, pyruvate dehydrogenase, glycerol dehydrogenase, phosphate dehydrogenase, and alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase, except for the reactions that are taking place in hexose monophosphate shunt, which uses NADP, NADP that is glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase and 6-phosphogluconolactone dehydrogenase. The good two enzymes, these are the likely two enzymes which can be used by NA, you can, which can use NAD and NADP that is glutamate dehydrogenase and isocytrate dehydrogenase. NADP is dependent reactions. If at all you find it difficult to learn all these enzymes, you can remember that it is used in cholesterol synthesis and it is used in steroid synthesis. So HMG CoA reductase, squalene epoxidase, cholesterol 7 alpha hydroxylase. Then coming to the rest two, that is phenylalanine hydroxylase and dihydrofolate reductase. So these are the important uh, functions of vitamin B4 niacin. So vitamin B4 niacin deficiency when it causes pellagra, there is deficiency of NAD nicotine adenine dinucleotide or NADP because the metabolism becomes difficult to further progress with the manifestations of diarrhea, dementia, dermatitis and finally death. Now uh, what are the other important functions? This was the biochemical importance of NAD or NADP plus through niacin. But what are the other important functions of niacin? So the second important function of niacin is that it inhibits lipolysis. It inhibits lipolysis. The third is that it decreases the triglyceride synthesis. So basically it is helpful in when, there are, when the lipid profile is getting altered because it is causing LDL, VLDL, triglyceride and cholesterol to decrease. Therefore, it is used in the treatment of hyperlipidemia. Treatment of hyperlipidemia type 2b when LDL, VLDL is increased. Okay. Um, nicotinic acid is also given uh, in lipid, altered lipid profiles even if there is not type 2 hyperlipidemia type 2b. Uh, so this is the two, two, two more important functions except, uh, other than the biochemical important functions of providing it with NAD and NADP. So 60 mg of tryptophan can give us 1 mg of niacin. So 60 mg of tryptophan can give us 1 mg of niacin. Now how come niacin deficiency occur? Niacin is present in cereals, niacin is present in meat, liver, but niacin deficiency can be seen in those persons who have only maize. Only maize. Maize has leucine and leucine interferes with leucine interferes with the formation of niacin. Leucine interferes with the formation of niacin because it inhibits the tryptophan absorption. So only maize will uh, lead to niacin deficiency. Second, only uh, second the one who consume lots of jowar, because even jowar has lots of leucine. The third is isoni The third is isoniazide intake and heart nerve disease. So niacin is, in, niacin is helpful in inhibiting lipolysis, decreasing the triglyceride synthesis and therefore it is given in the treatment of hyperlipidemia. 60 mg of tryptophan causes formation of 1 mg of niacin. Niacin deficiency occurs only when the person takes only maize diet because it contains lots of leucine or only on leucine diet or only on jowar which contains lots of leucine. Other important niacin deficiency is seen in heart nerves disease. Where there is deficiency of tryptophan, phenylalanine and tyrosine. So because there is deficiency of tryptophan, there is less production of no production, less or no production of niacin and it will lead to condition like pellagra. So vitamin B4 is the most important because it provides us with NAD, NADP which takes part in severe and several metabolic reactions also 
it is important because it inhibits lipolysis because it inhibits lipolysis so the most important thing is to remember n for n niacin is nad nad p niacin nad nad p second it decreases uh, it decreases lipolysis and third pellagra so this is the main important part of the niacin vitamin b4 thank you